If you want to create a website using Python, then there are many frameworks like Flask, Django, Cherry Pie, etc. And in this video, I will use Flask to create the website because it's easy. And also uh, because uh, I have only learned Flask. Disappointment. Anyways, let's start. After opening PyDroid 3, go to your terminal and install Flask using pip install Flask and enter. I have already installed it. After that, create the project folder. Inside the project folder, I will create a folder named static which will store all of the photos, videos, audio, done it, done it. Yes, and CSS file which I will add to my website. After that, I will create another folder named templates which will store my HTML files. And be careful, don't misspell or change the name static and templates to something else if you don't want to use. After that, I will create a python file which will act as a server. First import flask function from the flask module, then render template function which we will talk about later. First, I have created a variable, then I have called a function inside the variable with the argument underscore underscore name. So what we are doing, we are basically saying that whatever it needs is inside the directory where I have created the python file. So this if condition is only true when we are running this code from this file. So that means the only way to call this function is to run the code from this file. Inside the app.run function, I have to give the port number and debug equals to true to enable debugging mode. App.route will create a specific URL for your specific page in the website and in this case we are creating the home page. Then we have to create an associated function which will return a message or a HTML file that we want to display. That means when you will go to this URL, you will be able to see the content that is returned by this function. By the way, you can give multiple routes for the same function and it will lead you up to the same page. So now our code is done. Let's run it. And this is the URL of our website. Then open your browser and type the URL and then enter. So now you can see the message that we have returned from the function. That means our website is running perfectly. Obviously, it's not a very good looking website and we can make it better using HTML. But if you're not very good at HTML, no worries. Go to your browser and type HTML boiler template and go to this website. Then copy this code. After that, open PyDroid 3 and go to your template folder and create a HTML file and then paste the code. So let's understand this HTML code. The doc type HTML tells the browser what's the version of the HTML that we are using. This HTML tag represents the root of an HTML document and it works as a container for your HTML elements. And always you should include the language attribute to declare the language of your website. Inside the head tag, it stores metadata which stores the information about the website like the description, keywords, viewport setting, etc. But what you see in a website like text, images, videos, hyperlinks, etc. is inside inside this body tag and an important thing that every HTML tag has an opening and a closing tag but also there are some exceptions. But now an important question is how do we add photos, text, videos in our website? Let's see. Now first bring those photos or videos into the static folder then go to your HTML file where you want to add those photos or videos. Now just write this code. This is for the text and this is for the video and this is for the photo. Now let's see how do we view an HTML file. Go to your python file and return this HTML file using the render template function and then run it. Now again go to chrome and then you can see the photos, text and the video. This is the worst! By the way you will find this entire code in my github, link is in the description.